All right, let's look at another example of drawing Lewis structure. This is, um, uh, this is remember, called ammonia. And so let's do our little S equals N minus A rule business um, before we get started with the skeletal structure. So available, that's, you know, how many electrons are available from all of the valence um, shells of all of the atoms that are in the molecule. In this case, I have um, nitrogen. I have one nitrogen, and I have hydrogen, and there's three of them. And you have to look at the periodic table to remember that there's five valence electrons, oh, excuse me, yeah, five valence electrons in nitrogen, and one valence electron, because it's in group one, for hydrogen. So um, nitrogen has five valence electrons, and hydrogen has one valence electron. So my total number of available is just going to be five plus three is eight available electrons. That's my available. And then needed, in this case, of course, we've got one nitrogen, three hydrogens. Nitrogen is, you know, like most other elements, it needs eight to satisfy its valence shell. And hydrogen is unusual. It only needs two. You have to remember that. And so eight plus three times two is six. The total needed to satisfy individually each atom here is 14. So to predict the number of bonds, S equals 14 minus eight equals six. That's the shared electrons, individual electrons. But to figure the number of bonds, since there's two electrons per bond, it's going to be six divided by two, which is three. So in this um, particular case, I'm predicting three bonds. All right, so draw your skeletal structure. Connect each atom. Now, this time again, because I have a clue and I know that hydrogens have to be terminal, and typically the central atom is listed first from those first few instructions on our rules, I knew not to string it go N, H, 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 H. I knew not to do that. I knew not to do this because that's not what hydrogen does. Okay, it's terminal. It can only have two. And so I can see when I did, when I put this thing together, remember each dash is a pair of electrons. I've used two, four, six of my eight available electrons. And according to the rules, once you've made your skeletal structure, go back and see if you have any electrons available. If you have electrons available, place them on the terminal atoms first to satisfy the octets. The terminal are the ones on the outside. The central is the one in the middle. But I can't put them on the terminal atoms because hydrogen can't have any non-bonding pairs of electrons. All it can do is form one bond because that satisfies its two. And so then it says, if, okay, if all the terminal atoms are satisfied, then go to the central atom and place your remaining electrons. And since I had two left, I placed them on the central atom that is um, nitrogen. So you can double check. Nitrogen has eight and each hydrogen has two. Okay, so that's how we decide what's connected to what and uh, what types of bonds. Is it a double bond or is it a single bond? Are there non-bonding pairs of electrons present or not? You, you use the Lewis structures, okay? You use the rules for the Lewis structures.